Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will discuss the latest build update for Windows 11 and that's the version KB514019 or build OS 22000.708. There are a few improvements and fixes, so without further ado, let's just jump right in. The first highlight of this update relates to an improvement to the family safety verification experience for a child account when you send a request for additional screen time. This in the end will make for a better experience for both the child and the parent when it comes to account verification. Moving on, another feature relates to Windows Spotlight on the desktop. With this feature, new pictures will automatically appear as your desktop background. This feature already exists for the lock screen, but now it's also available on the desktop. So if you want to turn on this feature, right click on an empty space on your desktop, then select Personalize, then afterwards in the settings menu go to Background and then click on Personalize your background. In here, just click on the drop-down menu next to it and then select Windows Spotlight. I think this is a really nice feature that also gives you the opportunity to find out the location of the picture by double-clicking on the Learn More About This Picture option in the top right corner. This will take you to a new window of the Edge browser with information about the picture's location. Again, a small push of the Edge browser by Microsoft, but that's okay. Next, another small feature with this update is the addition of animation to the widgets icon when you click or tap the icon and the taskbar is aligned on the left. So, if the taskbar is not aligned on the left, you will not be able to see that small click animation. And in the same category, an issue was addressed that affected the rendering of the default widgets icon on a taskbar that is aligned in the center. This update also addresses an issue that caused widgets to appear on the wrong monitor when you hover over the widgets icon on the taskbar. Small changes, yet quite efficient. Moving on to the fixes category, there are a few fixes worth mentioning. So this update addresses an issue that fails to maintain the display brightness after you change the display mode. Now it's fixed and ready to move on. At the same time, this new build addresses an issue that causes file copying to be slower. This one seems to be more important because it relates to something we all quite do often, so we don't want to waste time. I've noticed that sometimes the copying process felt slower than usual, so it's good that it's fixed now. And lastly, another issue that is now fixed relates to an issue that failed to automatically give you the search box input focus when selecting the start menu and start typing. This happened to me many times and it was quite frustrating because it could not give me any results to what I was typing even though it should have. But now it seems to be working fine, so no problems over there. And that's pretty much a summary of the main highlights for this update. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, as usual, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.